The Scorpion is Everts's media aggregation and transport platform, which enables content generators and content distributors to move signals such as 4K, 3G, SD, ASI, AES and MADI audio, as well as analog video and audio, and intercom. Uh, other signals type supported are HDMI, as well as serial, RS-232, 422, and 485, as well as GPIO. The, uh, the main point of the Scorpion platform is to basically combine these different types of signals that I mentioned and move them over different transport media, such as dark fiber and or IP. And when I mean IP, it's generally a managed type network uh, be between uh, different locations and a provider. And uh, these uh, typical managed networks operate on 10G, 25G, 40G, and 100G connectivity options as well, which the Scorpion also supports. The different topologies that the Scorpion can be installed into are point-to-point -point, uh, ring architecture as well as mesh and different hub-and-spoke point-to-point type architectures as well. Uh, again, the Scorpion can not only be its own centralized location, but it can also have different uh, endpoint uses as well. The uh, Scorpion comes in three different flavors. The first flavor I'll talk about is the Scorpion 18. And that's basically our 1RU IO aggregator. Again, you have 18 SFPs on the front to aggregate fiber as well as coax or ethernet connectivity, as well as a rear IO mini modules that allow you to insert different types of Everts feature sets into the Scorpion 18. So on the front you have the SFPs and on the rear you have these mini modules that you can populate with uh, different types of video I.O. options. Also within the Scorpion 18 there is a 12G SDI router built in which allows you to do routing from front to back or front to front or rear to rear and also to between different Scorpion 18s that could be interconnected to it. Also, the Scorpion possesses the ability to encapsulate and de-encapsulate video, audio, and data to be able to leverage IP networks and not only just use it for dark fiber purposes, but also use it for IP uh, network connectivity as well. The next Scorpion device that we're going to look at is the Scorpion 4, and that's really our throwdown standalone miniature gateway. And what it essentially does is it takes in the same types of mini modules that are seen in the Scorpion platform, but to be able to leverage them in a smaller space that's also fanless for noise considerations, uh, as well as needing IP connectivity using SMPTE 2022-6 and 2110 as well. So similar feature set as the Scorpion 18 for encapsulation and de-encapsulation, but also possessing the ability to make different connections using different transport media, as well as uh, moving different signal types. The Scorpion 2 fits in the Scorpion range as its miniature frame that possesses the ability to handle two IO mini modules, as well as four SFPs on the reverse of the frame. The Scorpion 2 is unique as it takes on the essential characteristics of the different module that's installed into it. So for example, if you have a 4K to HDMI converter, it will take on the characteristics of that HDMI converter, as well as give you the ability to transport it over dark fiber or IP. It is also fanless, like the Scorpion 4, so it fits in many different applications where noise as well as size is also a concern. So we've talked about the different Scorpion-based frames from the Scorpion 18, the 4, to the 2. Essentially, the Scorpion platform gives you the ability to get into different venues, uh, again for remote production, as well as OB van type opportunities. It also is great for rental houses, which gives you the ability of reconfiguring the units based on a particular need and a particular segment space. The Scorpion 4 and 2 are great for being fanless, so it can go into spaces where noise is a huge concern, especially for post-production as well as edit suites. So if you're looking to move high quantities of video, audio, and data content throughout your facility, the Scorpion platform is just the platform for you.